Sage, looking at that question, how do you solve a quadratic? Um, you guys take, like, okay, you uh, that would be, that is completely the square. Okay. So how do you, that's completely the square, so that's not quite right. Okay. Yeah, you could try and find M and A, okay? You try and factor, good. I like what you're thinking. The problem is with this, I think it's going to be impossible because of the decimals. If you can't solve, is that a hand or is that just, how do you solve something that's equal to zero? It's a quadratic. Yeah, A, B, C, A, B, C, quadratic formula. So, who's the quietest person in this? I'm going to say it's going to be Juliana. Can you recite from memory, please, as loud as you can, not, don't yell, but speak loudly, the quadratic formula, please, for the class. Go ahead. Square root? So, very good. So, just louder <coughs> here. X equals negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. You will need to have that committed to memory for the next test if you don't already. Now, again, you can always, when you're solving an equation, use that. You don't have to factor. But this one, because there's not easy numbers, you're going to have to automatically quad formula. Conrad, I'm picking on you. What's your A, what's your B, and what's your C for this equation, please? Uh, a. Yeah. Where Conrad got those from, thank you, that's right. Where Conrad got those from were just the coefficients right in front of the t squared, the t and the negative 19.5. I should probably write this as t equals instead of x equals because we're dealing with t's instead of x's, but that's okay. All right, Cal, let's do the second quietest. That's probably Now, since you're the second lightest person in this class, I don't know if you are or not, can you sub some numbers in for me, please? Go ahead. Now again, remember here this 25.8 was positive here, but it changes the negative B. All right, Thomas, I got bad news for you. You're going to be my calculator, human calculator, right now. Can you do 25.8 squared plus 665.7? Yeah. 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 Good. And then let's keep going. Negative 4 times negative 4.9 times negative 18.5. Negative. Okay, while I'm doing this, you guys should all be checking Thomas's work to make sure that he did not make a mistake. I don't think he did, but just you should be confirming this for yourself. Okay, Thomas, your job is almost done, but not yet. Give you 665.64 minus 320, or 362.6. I'm going to just take a pause here and get everyone to make sure they're caught up. I'm going to pick on Nick. Nick, can you do the square root of 303.4 for the class, please? Two decimals would be good. Okay, while Nick's figuring that out, you guys should be doing this yourself. Can you show me my Somebody's going to confirm that, but 
So what you should be doing right now, Kim and everyone else, taking a second to actually do the calculations. One thing to watch, uh, me and Nick do this on the board, okay, but you guys are the ones that are responsible for this yourselves in a little bit. All right, Jennifer, since you haven't been here all day, can you please get your calculator out and do negative 25.8 plus negative 17.41, please? This one here, negative forty three point two one. Uh, negative right, so that should be negative twenty five point eight plus seventeen. So that's you do the two minus there. So do this one too, please. Then you should be at eight point something, right? Eight point three nine, I think. So we can follow. Now, if uh, Jennifer or I make a mistake, which is highly unlikely, okay, but if either of us make mistakes, then you please share out the answer. All right, Sharnika, you're going to finish this off. Do the left-hand calculation for us, please, to two decimal places. T equals. Okay, so I got those T's. What the heaven does that mean? Heaven. Come on, stay a little, stay alive here, guys. What the heaven does this mean? Uh, those aren't quite X intercepts, okay? That's a bit good thinking, though, okay? But the thing is, we weren't actually equal to zero at the beginning. What are we looking for in this question? To go back, right? When is the height of 20? Okay, so Kim, I like what you're thinking because normally it's X intercepts, but in this case, it's going to be. Here's my graph. Yeah, this is going to be 20. This is a point we just found here. So this is going to be 0 0.86. <coughs> this is going to be. So we'll say therefore at, therefore at 0 0.86 seconds and 4.40 seconds, uh, the plane, the rocket, um, has a height of 20. Now, any question on that, you will see that in your future, I guarantee. Okay, and your future being your media future is your homework this weekend. Which stage I'm going to do a double check because I didn't check this morning. Okay, so we'll do a double check from Fridays and I'll show you about yesterday's homework too. If you, if you provide. Okay. Um, as I said with my cap speech before class starts, if you're, most people in this class have gotten to a good start as far as homework completion, all that, keep it up, please. What tends to happen to people after the first test or two, you take a break. Please don't do that in this course, okay? Um, the highest mark, I think, was 89, I think, on this test. If you got higher, you can yell at me after by forgetting about you. Um, so there's no one in the 90 yet, um, so which is disappointing. Last year, I think I had two or three in the 90s. Okay, so keep going. If you got over 80, awesome. Keep up the good work. Keep doing it. By working hard, you can do well in this course. I hope everyone realizes that, man, right? And I'm excited to get you in this course work every day, you can do well. All right. I hope you understand that. You know, I see a lot of angry books. So that's fine. Okay. Uh, homework. What be? Page. Uh, number 9, 10, 11. And last night's one thirty two number 9 as well. It's probably there on the board, so that one should be pretty easy to get done from last night if you didn't do it, okay? We'll do a double check uh, on Monday. Uh, you have all day tomorrow to do nothing, okay? Like tomorrow you can sleep until noon, do a about half hour of math work, and it's good. Okay, I know what you're saying. They're saying I live in 
Lion's Head, and I love the Friday morning every day. You don't live in Lion's Head. sleep in tomorrow. Do you sleep in Lion's Head? I don't. You can sleep in tomorrow. Further? No. Sorry, I got that. All right. You live in Reddington.